I'm in the tap shop. I'm set up today to do some really interesting testing. This will involve arrow inserts, specifically from Ethics Archery. This is one of their spinning inserts. It allows the field point to spin independent of the arrow. So why would you want to use this? What is the point? Is there a benefit? Well, it's claimed that an insert like this will allow the arrow to retain more of its downrange velocity and thus more of its downrange energy. So we're going to find out, does it work? Is that possible for this to occur? The best way to establish if that can happen, if it does consistently work, is for us to baseline two arrows. One has the ethics insert. It is slightly cut down on the back side of that insert the, in terms of how long it is inside the arrow to get it to a weight that along with one of their 100 grain points, it's the same weight as one of my 125 grain field points along with a standard aluminum Black Eagle Archery insert. So these arrows are literally within four tenths of a grain of each other. 370.2 and 370.6. The lighter one is the ethics arrow, but we're only talking four tenths of a grain. So that really should not show up on the chronograph in terms of a variance in speed between the two. Unless, of course, when we get back to further distance, we do see that the ethics arrow is considerably higher in speed. That would be then indicative of something occurring here. And we'll get into what it is they say this can accomplish in a bit and, and how that works. So I have these two arrows. I'm gonna do a baseline test on the speeds. I will leave this camera running and have it looking at the chronograph and, and the targets. You can see the impact, you can see the velocities that are being obtained. There will be two other cameras running at the same time. One of them is mounted directly to the bow. And that one is right here. This is on the EVL32, tapped out fully, of course, with all these really nice accessories. You can see there the uh, tap Titan cable slide that'll be coming out in about a month. Um, so we have that camera that's going to be running during the shots. And then we also have another camera that's back at around the 20 yard line that'll be looking towards me as the shooter. So we'll get these arrows here shot quickly. We'll find out what velocities we're getting on them. We are then going to go back to 20 yards and then 30 yards. Shoot through the chronograph from those distances. As long as the arrows are impacting approximately within this yellow area, then we'll get consistent speeds because we know the point of impact is essentially the same. And that can make a slight difference with the chronograph. So let me get started here. I'll go back to about uh, two to two yards away from the chronograph and shoot these arrows through. So we'll start off with the ethics insert arrow. I am shooting lighted knocks. So it's 296 shooting point blank like this. Um, you know, the arrow is going to be impacting a bit low. I am aiming right here in this area, but of course the arrow goes below the line of sight this close. So we'll have to, we'll have to go with that as our point of aim and point of impact. All right, now we have the arrow with the standard insert. Again, it's a Black Eagle standard aluminum insert. These are carnivore arrows, uh, one thousandth straightness. I've always found these to be very reliable, good arrows. All right, second shot here, see if we get the same speeds. And we got 297 with the other arrow. Okay, so that's actually a little faster. Which, that can happen. I mean, you certainly can see from shot to shot, in some cases you can certainly see a one foot per second variance between arrows with the same weight. Not odd. I will shoot a second time though to verify each arrow. So I'll start off with the one I just shot. 
And this will be the uh, Black Eagle again. And that was 296. So that was the same as the first shot, which was the FX arrow. I think it literally shot right into the same hole there as the uh, first shot. All right, and we'll finish off with this last shot on the ethics insert arrow. And it's 297 on that one. Good shot. First shot with a black eagle from 20 yards, registered at 288. It went a little bit lower and right just a hair from where the Black Eagle impacted. Not much, just a little off. Um, and that one came in at 289. And that was the Black Eagle. Zip that one down range from 30. And hang the bow up. And we have 282 coming in now. It may have impacted just a little lower than the previous shot, but well within, oh, it's actually almost the same spot, well within what I wanted. So 284 on this shot for the ethics. Well within what I wanted. So 284 on this shot for the ethics. So at 30 yards, uh, a little bit of mixed results, but we're starting to see some separation, I would say, potentially, in, in these two arrows. It would be worth potentially taking it out to, say, 80 to 100 yards, just to see how much of a difference uh, there was at that range. If we're seeing this from 10 to 20, it, uh, about a one to two uh, change, one to two foot per second change from 10 to 20, yeah, you could, you could theorize that maybe at 80, you would see six to eight, possibly more. If, if that's possible, then I think there could be real benefit in this product. Uh, and so we'll have to see what we can do. Getting those kinds of tests done is difficult though, because you need to typically be outside for that, those long ranges. Uh, wind plays a factor, even the slightest bit of wind plays a role and you can't control the conditions like I can in here. So I'm gonna say thumbs up at this point to the concept working as, as described or as, as marketed. It does appear that it, that it likely works. To what degree, uh, hard to say. Does it impact accuracy? I can't, I can't show that, define that really. Uh, 
but I do think that in terms of retaining velocity, there may be something to it. Thanks for tuning in. As always, stay tapped out. Go to our website. You can get all of our products there to get your bow tapped out the way you want it. We have some great items with many more exciting things to come very soon. Thanks.